very simple for the judges and for the old hostess. Oh, same song, very original. <laughs> okay, please welcome in her formal wear, Miss Indecisive, candidate for Miss Gay have to choose. There's seven envelopes. You choose a number from one to seven. I'll come to you. You stay there. Just stand in the spotlight and look gorgeous. That's your only job. I don't know who wrote the questions or where they came from, but God help us all. <laughs> number one. Oh, smart. Oh, God. Who sealed these? Oh, Tashina. Well, I know I have nails on, but you just added like 10 minutes to the pageant. Rip envelopes. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay. Uh, if you could tell your younger self one thing, what would it be? What would I tell my younger self? I would tell my younger self to be myself and to stop hiding within my shell. Lady Tenderflake, my drag mom who isn't here tonight, so you can all give her shade for that, um, has really helped me break out of my shell and so has drag. So I would tell my younger self to stop hiding behind what you think everyone wants to see and just be yourself and embrace yourself and love yourself and just be that fierce queen that you know you are. Up next, candidate for Miss Gay Edmonton 32 as well, Miss Aurora Borealis. Now the very important question is, this fabric was obviously on sale somewhere because you have a short dress and a long verse, so I need to know where you got this fabric from. Uh, one was Fashion Nova and the other one was uh, Shein. Oh, they're not custom? Uh, oh. Oh. Oh, no. I thought I could buy the fabric by the meter and make myself one. Oh. I mean, they're gorgeous. They're gorgeous. That's why I want one. Hello. Now, are those the kind of sequins you could write your name on yourself and have fun with? I mean, I made it myself. You made it yourself. Well, that counts for something. Okay, so now questions. Question number one is gone. So pick a number between two and seven. I know math. Math is hard. Three. Okay. I'm sorry. Oh. Um, <laughs> You're gonna so kick my ass later. Okay. Uh, what are your plans? What will you do with the title of Miss Gay Edmonton should you be successful tonight? Uh, looks like I got the tough question. Um, what would I do with the title of uh, Miss Gay Edmonton should I win the title? Um, well, I would continue, well, I would help uh, with the volunteer effort that the uh, court um, implements. Um, I would uh, also uh, go to all of the events, um, be present, and um, smile and talk to everybody. <laughs> oh, yeah, actually, Twiggy did tell me to say world peace <laughs> yesterday, so that too. <laughs> Up next is, oh, we're going to split things up. We're going to, because question and answer can be a little dry sometimes. Especially when you're spending hours ripping.
God. Oh, ruffles and everything, eh? Just so butch. Okay. <laughs> no, you stay there. Uh, pick a, a number between two and seven, but don't pick three. Five. Five. All right. It's an odd number. Me too. It Literally. is. Me too. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, these envelopes are not going to get old at all. Oh, no, this is an easy question because I'm going to stand right next to you. Seven. Who is your role model and why? <laughs> yeah! You don't have to say my name. Don't say my name. Um, when it comes to drag, uh, there is, I honestly, I'm very lucky to be a part of the House of Fair. Um, between Vanity Fair and Lilith Fair and Morgan Fair, you could not ask for a more dynamic and amazing group. Um, Lilith Fair has always been my idol. I don't know if that's really the right word to say, because I don't really want the trouble that she gets into. But, <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I just, when it comes to performance-wise, I feel like nobody steps out on the stage and bangs it out more than she does every single time. She's the consummate professional. She won't drink before she goes on stage. She's just... Anyway, so yeah, probably a little fan. Not drinking or what, what Paris doesn't know is that the last fair family reunion show Neither of us would claim ownership of Ferris, nope. <laughs> so he's still an orphan. <laughs> no, he's fabulous, and we love him. All right, uh, up next candidate from Ms. Gay Edmonton in her formal wear, Ms. Pheromone Kills. You just need a giant bow on your boobs and your ass, and you're good to go. <laughs> okay, uh, you may pick question two, four, six, or seven. Four. I'm four. Four. I'm four. <laughs> I mutilated these envelopes. Oh my god. Okay. What is the best piece of advice you have ever received in your life? The best piece of advice that I've ever received, well actually I receive it every day, just go out there, be yourself, have fun, and don't let anyone tell you that you're nothing less than amazing, nothing less than the superstar that you are, and just keep being you, because there's no one else that's going to be that for you. Up next, we have another well, formal wear. See, I've been drinking too. Yeah. Candidate for Ms. Gay Edmonton 32, Bambi Dextrous. You may choose question two, six, or seven. I'll choose question two. Two, all right. Oh, this is kind of a self-absorbed question, but we'll entertain it anyway, because that's what drag's all about. <laughs> Why do you think you should win this pageant, and what sets you apart from the other candidates? Why should I win the pageant? And what sets me apart from the other contestants, correct? What sets me apart from the rest of the contestants, I feel, is I took my time. I gave myself a lot of patience. I actually waited about three or four years before running for my first title because I really wanted to learn more about the court, how it works, how it operates, before jumping in headfirst. And what sets me apart from 
from the rest of the contestants. I've got, I have great connections with the performers of the city. I, the Dragon Youth Series, I attend the Dragon Youth Series shows and we have such wonderful, fabulous youth performers in our city that perform every month at Dragon Youth. I'm their girl and uh, I'm also con connected to the burlesque community as well. I'm a big fan of burlesque and Dragon Youth Heels will film that. And uh, finally, I'm just with the drag community, so I'm very well connected within the city through performers, through our youth, the future of drag, and that is what sets me apart from the rest of the performers. <laughs> Running for Miss America. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay, our final candidate is candidate for Mr. Gay Edmonton, Colin Bay. Or seven. <laughs> number lucky number seven. Yes. Well, this is an interesting question. What is your definition of success? My definition of success. Ooh. I feel like I also answer this question at work quite often as well, so I have to make sure I'm gonna separate my drag life from my personal life. Um, for me, to feel like I'm being successful is just to feel as though everyone around me really feels the love and support that I have for each and every one of you guys that are in here today. Woo! And really feel as though I am putting my best foot and best face forward every single day and that I'm just being the best version of myself. Woo! 